Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Awesome Knots with yours truly Slow Wolf. So today we're going to be taking a look at the serious squid, the admiral of the seas of Awesome Knots, the guy with the uh, anchor? Anyway, I'm out of introductions. Guys, we all know Admiral Swiggins. We're all good friends with him. I'm a little bit late with this video to say the least. So, normally I do this as soon as he's released with my recent internet connection problems and issues. I've been meaning to, well, I, I, I've been meaning to do this but couldn't. And I said, you know what, screw it. We'll just do this with a practice match and roll a guide into it. So after this, expect a guide. For now, description of abilities. For those who don't know already and have been living under a rock, First off, you got his auto attack. His auto attack comes in two varieties. You got his anchor swing where he runs around and swings his anchor. It cleaves, hits multiple people in range. Uh, does 11 damage base, can be upgraded to do 20 at fairly good attack speed. It's all right. Other upgrades include being able to get increased health as long as you're wielding said anchor. Now, if you're wielding, if you don't have the anchor on you, if the anchor is off of you, you shoot an ink blast. This ink blast does seven damage base, works its way up to 13? 13. Works its way up to 13 damage at a fairly decent pace. Other upgrades include adding a blind onto the shot and adding a shield. So that way you take less damage so long as you are using the ink shot. Now, this brings me to movement. While you are an ink shot, you can jump a lot higher, you move a lot faster, and you're you just you're a lot lighter. You can move around a little bit better. With the anchor, you are a lot heavier. You're a bit slower, you fall a lot quicker, you can drop through platforms incredibly quickly. Uh, keep that in mind while juking and such. Now, on to his abilities. So the first ability is actually incredibly straightforward. This is Anchor Grapple. Now the Anchor Throw, Anchor Toss, Anchor Grapple, whatever you want to call it, whenever you hit a, a piece of scenery or an opponent, you get pulled towards it. You deal the damage, there's a mini stun on it at base, and as a result, it can stop stuff like Raylan's Snipe, Froggy's NATO, and other such little contrivances. Now, in addition to that, it can, like I said before, it can hit scenery. When it hits scenery, you get dragged towards it. That's one way you can juke around. Now, it's very difficult to do that. Uh, a lot of the time, it is just out of reach uh, from where it could be useful, or it's a really slim corridor, so you end up hitting right in front of you instead of at the far end where you wanted to. So it's difficult to use it for escape. For initiation, however, this is a great way to get yourself in up close where you can smack them with your anchor. Now, upgrades for the anchor drop, grapple, thingamajigamajig, uh, include being able to deal more damage, deal damage in an area of effect, reduce the cooldown, increase the range, give the like, solar to your entire team whenever you get a kill, uh, and finally, uh, adding to the stun on the grapple. Making it a one second stun if I'm not fully mistaken now the second ability which is probably one of the most unique abilities I've seen especially in a MOBA is Anchor drop or in is it called anchor drop now? I don't know, but it's the one where you throw your anchor top You know poof. so you throw your anchor out and uh, then you switch into non having an anchor mode while it's out there, it has HP, it can be destroyed. If it's destroyed, it comes back to you in a couple of seconds. You can also go and just pick it up to get your anchor back quicker. Uh, if you land it on an enemy, it will deal 10 damage. If it lands and stops near an enemy, it will also latch onto them, uh, forcing them to stick around, literally anchoring them to the spot. You can make some really funny moments with a pinata whenever that happens. Uh, there have been times when I've managed to anchor them to a platform, they've tried to go down, and then they're hanging down there, they're out of jumps, and they just kind of swing around, and there's nothing they can really do. They are then killed. So, there's a lot of stuff that it can do. It can help you run away, it can help you chase. Uh, the best combo that usually ends up happening is being able to grapple, and then anchor drop immediately afterwards, and then kite them around for a couple of seconds. This is a really easy way to just kind of go, screw you, you, automatically land the anchor, and call it a day. Unfortunately, it means that you are not using your anchor to swing at people, and your anchor does do a bit more damage than your blaster shot does. So, there is that to keep in mind. The other option is to go ahead, uh, land it first, shoot them from a distance, uh, if you feel confident that way. And then when you're feeling ready, go ahead, pick it up, and then grapple them as they try to run away, and slap them silly with your anchor. So, there's a couple of things you can do. Either way, Swiggins is a really complex character. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I play him, so that way you guys have a good idea on what to All do. Alright, 
Hello, everybody. Alright, so for the sake of the guide, even though I have both of these skins, thanks to Mr. Humpty, thank you so much, buddy, we're gonna take a look at the normal skin for Admiral Swiggins, regardless. Swiggins so, what's with my build? Well, let's take a look, shall we? For the top row, I would have liked to pick up explosion size, but I'm prestiged at the moment. So instead, we've got damage, we've got range, and we've got stun. So this allows us to initiate extremely well from extremely far away with a little bit of burst and some stun to really set things up. It's great, it's fantastic. Once you hit level 80 though, you're going to want to swap out the mobile periscope for the ancient octant because the explosion size is ridiculous. Having that damage in an area of effect means that you'll be much more effective in team fights. It is a good idea to pick up. Now, for here we've got anchor drop. Anchor drop, we've got the duration, the HP increase on the anchor, and the damage. You got the duration and the HP because keeping people in place for longer means your team can kill them better. And then the pneumatic spoon because a guaranteed 30 damage no matter what happens to the anchor is pretty fun. Uh, coupled with this means that you have about 40, 75 damage burst. There we go. 75 damage burst, and that's not including any of the other fun stuff your team can do. Finally, uh, we got this auto attack. The attack row, we got attack speed and damage because that's the only way to roll. Uh, for your last upgrade, it's really up to preference, but I would recommend either the Royal Toy Castle because you'll be an ink shot a lot, or the blinding effect on the ink spray, so that way you can also just abuse the fact that you're an ink shot a lot. On the utility row, we've got HP, we've got Medican, and we've got Solar Tree. Now, the first two are very obvious, it's because you need survivability as Swiggins. You are tall, you are slow, and you are really easy to damage. Uh, so you're gonna need as much HP and survivability as possible. And then the Solar Tree I pick up because I don't really feel like I need boots very often with these two. So I just pick up the Solar Tree to boost my economy and keep it steady throughout the game. Now, up until recently, uh, often, like, the guys at Ronimo didn't really clearly explain what the treasure map dealie was. Now that we know what the treasure map dealie is, uh, it's not as good as I thought it was. Before, I thought it was, oh, anytime you get any kill, you get 15 solar for the entire team. You know, everybody gets 15. Woohoo, that's awesome. No, it's only whenever you kill people with it. And unfortunately, this build is not built around that like uh, around killing people with my anchor with my anchor grapple it's just not meant to do that what this build does is it helps keep somebody in place and initiate fights for my team just gonna go over here just kill off those guys hey ross how's it going all right and we're up again we have ross mr red rabbit on my team we're up against cosmic remnants and wolfgang on the other uh this is gonna be an interesting fight to say the least whoop point yeah we got him because anchor grapple is pretty slick oh god I might be in trouble? I guess not. No, okay, cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. Now, the good news is that got us first blood. I'm going to go ahead and head home and immediately pick up this anchor drop. Now, anchor drop is super cool. It keeps people in place. Uh, even in this level, it's worth picking up because there'll be random times when you anchor drop somebody and they are not in a good position to get rid of it without taking a lot of damage from the flyers. Speaking of which, oh, there are none there. Okay, cool, whatever. We'll wait. But it's exceptionally good when there's flyers around, so. This Cosmic Revenant's just there, doing his thing. Slap this thing. Interestingly enough, and uh, very thankfully, the anchor drop does actually uh, knock flying things out of the air. So Yuri's and that sort of deal. Uh, yeah, pretty good. All right, so I got caught. I immediately tossed out the anchor. I managed to catch the Benny with it, which was an easy hit on the snipe. So that allows us to harass it. Now I got a blaster to work with in here, which is perfectly fine. Dodge this thing, jump up here, call it a day. So, what's my next plan? My plan right now is just to, oh wow, not do that. That was weird. Um, I hate that glitch so much. I really do. So my plan now is to work on getting anchor drop in a, such a way that it is useful in all the time. Like whether or not you kill it. Um, if they're gonna kill it, they're gonna spend time and effort doing so. That's fine. I'd rather they did that. Uh, there's that Genji, he's just sitting in his base, I don't like it, that Vinny's just gonna go around and he's, yeah, there go our flyers, I couldn't make good use of them, that's unfortunate, but hey, that's, that's just how that cookie crumbles. Yeah, I'm just gonna dodge all that and head up here if no one minds. Excuse me? Are there creeps? Yes, there are, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. I need a couple for heals, I'm gonna leave one for my teammates if they ever get, the necessary, if they ever need it. Oh, 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 almost! Now, if I had the pneumatic spoon, that would have been a kill. That would have been a kill right there. 
That's the great thing about the pneumatic spoon is that thanks to its range on the chain of the anchor, uh, if you hit somebody with it, you can deal damage in place from places no one would normally think possible. It's randomly the best ability ever. <laughs> uh, we're gonna just drop down, pick this up, thank you. You heavy bastard. Uh, we're gonna leave this someplace where I can get to it easily and just spam my blaster shot. Pick this up again. We're gonna hop up here and see if we can't get some creeps, which I badly need. Thank you. Thank you. Smack a doodle, smack a doodle doo. All right. Float down here. Oh, oh no! I missed everything. Okay, so yeah, if you miss everything, you're down for like another eight seconds. Uh, you're not useful for that a period of time. It's kind of disappointing, really, but it happens. Uh, now we're just waiting on that Vinny to show up. He's gonna be up here, and then we got him. There we go, and he's stuck. Good job. See, now that's why you really need to pay attention to the minimap, uh, especially as Swigs. If you pay attention to the minimap as Swigs, you're gonna get so many more kills than you would have thought possible. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Clutch anchor. <laughs> yeah, right? Swiggins is exceptionally good at getting off good kills. Uh, again, now, if there was the full ranks of Pneumatic Spoon, that might have worked. God, those bullets, they hurt so much. Okay, I'm just gonna back off, get up here, get up here again, get up here again, and there's nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead tentacles on deck. tell my allies to defend for a second while I go ahead and pick up the creeps there, run down here, and pick that up. Now, if you're having a hard time staying in lane, and having a hard time getting HP, get regen next. Do not go for full pneumatic spoon like I'm what I seem to be doing right now. Just go for the regen and call it a day. Let's get him stuck there. That's actually not a bad grapple, all things said and done, but it's uh, not good enough. So, I got two ranks of pneumatic spoon. That's 20 damage uh, once I pick that up, which will be about now. I don't need to be here right now, and I've got a lot of solar. You shouldn't be stockpiling a ton of solar unless you absolutely need to, so make sure that you go back and spend it regularly, because you do lose solar upon death. Not only do you lose solar upon death, but you lose time that you that could be spent farming more, so you actually lose a lot more than just the 30 that they advertise. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Hello, Wolfgang. How's it going? Wolfgang gets shot. Little do they know, but uh, my, my ability that doesn't hurt people now hurts people, so... Go ahead, deal some damage to Genji, get my blaster up and running, and it's only going to be like 10 seconds of sort of cooldown, which is sort of problematic, because right there, that would have been good to have. Uh, okay, so we're going to pick up that 50 HP, drop down like a rock, because I got that anchor on me, and we're back in the fray already. Uh huh. Oh, Wolfgang is low. Wolfgang is low. I want to try it. Maybe. Oh, maybe. No, not quite. Wasn't good enough, but that must have been close. Just a little bit more and I would have killed them. And that would have been a beautiful kill. Like, that would have been a kill that they had not expected. But I am positive that chained onto him. So, he's gone home to heal. He's not doing anything else. Oh, God. And they're all gone because Raylan. Okay. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to dodge that. Toss that out. Just get some harassment down on one of them. It's not much. Heck, I would say it's incredibly little, it's even minor, but there you have it. Your turn is under attack. Good job, me. Alright, now. As is the case at this level most times, this part of the game is just a matter of who can control the middle and push it out first. Uh, it's problematic. Right now, it's it's difficult for Swiggins to really do a good job with this, but it's uh, it's it's doing things. It, it, we're able to do something here, and Swiggins himself is not super good at this match. But once this first tower goes down, he's he's pretty decent. The good thing about him is, if a fight happens up in the jungle area, that anchor does so much to keep people in one spot. It is not even funny. So right now, I'm just posing myself as a threat. Being ready, I'm not jumping in on anything too crazy, unless if I have to, like that. And that wasn't enough to get a kill, obviously, but it's probably enough to send someone packing home. For now, I have the ability to push. Oh god, that bull is so good against Swiggins. Like, it's actually problematic. Alright, well, that didn't do anything, unfortunately. Oh, Ross, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Oh god. 
Alright, so body blocking. Something you can do really well. Uh, in case you didn't know that. Oh god, that was useless. Excuse me, let me pick that back up. Thank you. Whoop! Off! Off I go! On an adventure! <laughs> okay. So pick up the last rank of pneumatic spoon. Now we got the la gotta get the rest of it. So, at this point, once you've got all of pneumatic spoon, which is, you know, well and good. Size. Okay, hello Wolfgang, how you doing? Okay. You just throw those dynamite and see if I care. What are we doing over here? Oh, jump over that, thank you. Now what's going on down over here? Well, stuff, but nothing I can really do. That snipe missed, unfortunately, so... I'm just gonna go up here and pick up some creeps. Get some money and get some HP, it's beautiful. Now, we're back in a position to threaten. Oh, slap that thing out of the air, get a push. Whoop. There we go, kept him anchored and he died for it. So that's something you can do. That That's what you're supposed to do, is keep people anchored, uh, so that way they eventually get pwned for it. Okay, get out of the way of that. I don't want to take that if I don't have to. Oh, that missed horribly. Oh god, you almost died there, lady. Jesus, that was close. Use my blaster to go ahead and push this out a tiny bit. It's fine. Alright. So now at this point, regardless of what you should have done first, I'm going to pick up my regen. Oh god. That is a, frankly speaking, very annoying and good Genji build. I quite enjoy getting the cocoon. It's a good, good move. It's, it's usually money very well spent. Whoop! Oh! Oh! It hit the edge of the freaking... of the platform. That was almost a snipe. Now, that's the cool thing. You can kind of artillerize the thing once you got the pneumatic spoon upgrade, which is great. Um, I have done it a couple times, and it's loads of fun. Alright, so that thing died, and Genji's now badly hurt. Uh, oh god, Ross. Oh, that was a bad idea. Why he felt it was necessary to do that, I will never know. Okay, so we got a lot of bullcrap in there. Let's see if there's a... Yes, there is HP there. Beautiful. Alright, so now what are we doing? Oh god. Ow, ow, ow. I have to admit, this railing is doing some serious work. Oh, we got the uh, Vinny and all that. Wasn't good enough to kill him. Obviously, the uh, anchor fell off. But that's okay. Oh, got him. He's grounded. That's fine. Not a big deal, but we lost our anchor. So you don't typically want to spam the anchor like I'm doing. That's actually usually a bad idea. I was just looking to see if I couldn't get a kill uh, from long range, but that's a greedy move. And typically speaking, greedy moves and swiggins are not a good mix. So don't try to do that. On the other hand, that worked out beautifully. And now I'm going home. Alright, so at this point... Obviously, pick up both rings of region, like I said. Then you start working on getting the damage on your anchor grapple. Because at that point, you're doing more burst. More burst is great for killing off opponents. Um, the region's going to help you be able to go in and out of a fight a lot easier and stay in the lane. Especially in this map, that's actually pretty useful. So, go ahead. Oh, that... What? That grapple totally hit. I don't know what kind of funky stuff you were smoking, but that, uh, that definitely went... A lot further than that. That is ridiculous. Anyway, obviously it hit the ground. I'm just complaining because I'm rude and ill mannered. But, uh, <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna pick up some more creeps because we're just waiting. We also want to come above so that we can threaten from above. Oh, there is nothing, no doing that. That was not gonna happen. Oh, I got cocooned. That was not a cool cocoon. Oh. There we go, got a kill on the Vinny because of that anchor grapple. So, anchor, good times. Pneumatic Spoon adds another 30 damage, plus the damage off of your uh, grapple means a lot of burst. You can do a fair amount. Oh, point. There's another 30. He can't even come outside of that base at all now. He is stuck there. And if he's not careful, by the time I get my anchor back, he might just bite it. Oh, God. Oh, God. That frog. Solo. Yeah, uh, there's no way I can quite stop that. I'm gonna have to come up here and just watch Froggy pick up some creeps. That's fine. 
So we're gonna go ahead and push this out a little bit because I have cleave. I can just slap things and do a lot of damage to creeps that way. Oh god. Oh, that was good. That's it. That's all she wrote. Pneumatic spoon. That out. Oh, boink. Ow. Ah. Oh god. Boink. Oh, did we manage to do some good stuff? Yeah, we did. Okay, we landed the stuff we needed to. That's fine. Alright, so we're gonna sit here, wait for the anchor drop to come back. Now, how much life do you have, buddy? Boink. Oh, that missed horribly. That's fine. Alright, so now we're gonna head back again. Because as much as I'd like to make use of this advantage, I can't really. We're gonna pick up the range, we're gonna pick up the damage. The Rayleigh managed to pick up a good snipe. Good job on you. Now, naturally speaking, I'm not getting a lot of kills. There are times when I do. There are times when the pneumatic spoon gets me so many I can barely keep track of them all. But there are other times when you're basically team helping. And that's what Swiggins does. Uh, a lot of people can remember that Ronimo ventured that he was the first official initiation knot. Uh, he's not. Uh, Froggy G probably is the very first, very first real initiation uh, alongside Leon. But uh, this guy is purely geared towards it. Like, everything he does just starts a fight and keeps on rolling with it. So, whoop, we're going to go ahead and do that to get our friend safe from the Genji. And granted, now I don't have an anchor, but it'll be back shortly. For now, if you lose your anchor, it's not a big deal because it's actually quicker than keeping it alive. Go ahead and back off. Let that shit happen. Cool, that's fine. I'll ride the bull out. That's all good. And then we're going to go ahead and get him stuck in that thing. And then he dies to the Super Droid. So, that well worked out. I'm down an anchor for a little bit, but they're down a player for a little bit. So that's a good trade. Oh. And then clutch anchor again. Not good enough to be able to get the kill. But hey, we almost got him. He was stuck with us for a lot longer than he should have been. There we go. Pneumatic spoon. Super cool. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not sure if it was a pneumatic spoon or something. But, uh, I'll take my chances. So. Oh, God. This could end up badly. I'm going to stay in the back to cover for my friends. No. Uh, yeah. We should probably just uh, back off for a second. Let that kind of reset. Take this out. Boomy. Nicely done. Go us. We've got two droids coming in. Okay. I can't do anything without my team. That's important to know. You really can't do much without your team in Swig. So make sure that you stay back uh, and stay with your team if you can. See opportunities to gank when they uh, when they happen, but otherwise do your best to just cover for your team like that and uh, toss out an anchor drop so that way they have to go ahead and take care of that or grapple or body block or do, do whatever you can to save your team uh, without putting yourself in too much danger. So I'm just going to jump over that. And then grappled. Not good enough. So. At this point, I like Pneumatic Spoon. I like what it's doing, and I don't mind the Anchor Drop dying too much, but you kind of wish that it would live a little longer, right? Well, that's that's a good way of doing things. However, at this point in the game, you're also gonna want more HP for yourself. So, the best way to do things is to get the best of both worlds. Uh, thankfully, the guys at Ronimo decided it would be a good idea for Turbo Pills the, uh, to give HP to Humble, the anchor, as well. And, uh, that's, that's, that's good stuff. So, I got cocooned. I don't really care about this one. Man. Okay, cool, whatever. What? That popped out of droid? Are you serious? Okay, that didn't quite do what I wanted. That's fine. But I got enough HP, so I'm gonna go ahead, call, call time to defend, let them come in. Because at that choke point, they're just kind of doing whatever they want. So I picked up three ranks and pills. That just gave me 60 HP and 15 HP for my anchor. So it's up to 45 now. It's still going to go down extremely quickly, but it's not going to be as easily as before. Uh, after this, we're probably going to aim to get the uh, HP on the thing. So whoa, we're going to drop that anchor down, do our best to just run around and toss out ink blast as best as we can. Whoa, jump over that, hover over these guys. Excuse me. Uh, I don't want any of what you're selling. Uh, that missed horribly. I'm just gonna go up here, pick up the anchor grapple, and then yeah, no, that's that's it. That's all that's happening today, folks. We're gonna back off. Let this happen. Oh god! No, that's not it. That's not all that she wrote. No, it is all that I wrote, unfortunately. 
Oh, that is so unfortunate. We had an almost good kill there, and then Genji got in the way. Boink, boink. So it's not the best thing for farming things, go figure. But uh, the anchor grapple can be used to deal damage to creeps, which is important to keep in note of if you really need to. All right. All right, just waiting for my anchor to come back, and we're going golden. There we go. Hello. So I'm thinking we can try to come in from behind. Cosmic Remnant is now down. Where's their... Whoop! Oh, the Genji got in the way again. Boo earns. That would have been so cool if that had landed. Uh, we'll just let it happen. That's fine. Oh, I didn't hit all the way back. Boo! 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 Okay, so our Froggy's going home. This is not a good time to go ahead and press any advantage right now, because technically speaking, we don't have one. Froggy's, uh, home. He's not with us, so... No push! No push over you! Hmm. What am I thinking? At this stage in the game, I've got the range, I've got the damage. And I don't want to be sticking around, because Genji's... Painful asshole. They all are. Alright, Anchor, come back any day now. Good. Slap these guys a little. Biff, 50. Oh, what the hell are you doing up there? Well, unfortunately, that's screwed up. So we're gonna go up here. Try to pick up some creeps if we can. There we go. Good job, mate. Whoa! Oh, I got one of them. Oh, I almost died for it, though. Yep, I'm backing off. I don't want to be a part of that. Okay. We're going to pick up the Kraken statue. And we have to wait for our HP to come back, which is kind of lame. Because they're pushing hard right now. Like, I don't want to give them the room. I really don't. We got that one guy up there waiting for creeps. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so close to landing these things. Sometimes it feels as if the range is a detriment. Or not as useful as it should be. Whoop. Oh, it still hit me. Boo. And with my connection, you know what? That's not totally surprising. No, well, not that time. If you're going to poke with anything, the anchor grapple is probably the best thing to do it with. Whoa. Boink. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. That's it for you, sir. Killing spree for me! From the seas into space! That's right, we got that kill. Okay! Now at this point, we got a decent amount of stuff. Do I want my anchor to stick around a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah, probably. Let's go ahead and make some... Let's give them a little bit of time to deal with that thing. Uh, once... <laughs> with the HP on them... He's, that anchor's got about 105 damage, which is a lot. Uh, significant amounts, actually. And we're just going to go ahead and harass as best as we can, and then jump out of the way, let that happen. I can't really defend by myself, unfortunately. It's it's difficult. Oh, with that frog there, though. Then he's stuck. Oh god, I am in uh, some trouble. What's going on over here? Uh, now he's stuck. Guaranteed. There we go. Got him. Oh, God. And then there's that Genji. Oh, God. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I saw the... Oh, the Vinny's off to there. Oh, he's not getting away. Oh, boink. Got him. He's stuck. Clutch. Oh, uh, it wasn't enough, though. That's disheartening. So we're just going to run away from that. Oh, there's our frog again. Now, frog and, and uh, Swiggins work out really nicely together. Oh, and he's done. Oh, he's not done because I didn't get that. What? I totally threw that anchor. I, I clicked it and everything. I did everything I normally do. It wasn't good enough, apparently. Oh, God. Run away from the dynamite. The dynamite is in pain. Oh, 
Come on, can we get him? Oh, no, apparently not. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh, God. Time to run. Oh, God. Time to run. Time to run. Now, here's where the anchor giving slowing you down would have killed me. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Now, where are they? Where are they, and how can I help kill them? Nope. This is a big, tall glass on. Nope. Whoop, boink. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> big, tall glass on. Nope. <laughs> Going home now. All right. So, the HP on the anchor seems fine now. Uh, what I want is damage. So I'm going to start upgrading the auto attack. To upgrade most auto attacks, you want one rank in the damage before you do anything else. There we go. Now you're dead. Thank you for dying, sir. Oh, who's down here that wants to die? Literally everybody, apparently. Yeah, you're bone. Excuse me while you just die. Thank you. Oh, what? He lived? He lived for a second, but he did live. Holy shit, though. Man, they put in a lot of damage down there. I guess that's from all the flying droids that the Genji had. Holy cow. All right, so with 14 damage, you're already doing a significant amount. Like, it's, it's good stuff. But, um... Oh, God, those bullets, they hurt. They hurt so much. Let's go ahead and enjoy our regen for a second here. Oh god, I fucked up. And can I? No, I can really quite redeem myself, but it's at least some damage. And surprisingly enough, it's not reduced by those shields. I don't know why, but uh, they're not. So that's that's a neat little bit of trivia there. So they're all coming in from over there, and that's good. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, try making this bad for them. So, okay, that's what's happening over there. Let's see if we can't get the Benny. Nope, not happening. Big tall glass and not happening. Going over here, not super good. Whoop! Got one of them. So we got at least something happening over there. Oh, Jesus Christ, though. All those flyers that Genji has? Really painful. Not gonna lie. It's not the coolest thing I've ever seen. So, hold on. Oh, Jesus. This tower is gonna go down before the other one. That's rare. Oh, that silence. And everything. Oh, God. Everything hurts. Yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and shoot that down. That's fine. All right. So the bottom is taken out. With a, that's that's new. I've not seen that in a long time. Come first. Oh, I guess Genji with uh, with all that shit will do that though. Move over here. We bought two ranks in the damage speed, uh, the attack speed upgrades. There we go. With our froggy down, we're in a really bad position, but that's okay. Really, it is. Like, we can still take this back really easily just because that's what Swiggins does a lot of the time. Um, you, you'll get caught in the corner and then things just completely turn around. So, for now, we're just going to try to do our best. And how that didn't hit, I do not know. Right? You need droids on your rift. Probably. But there's not much he can do right now if he doesn't have droids in the rift. Oh my god. So they just pushed down another tower. They got another super droid coming. This is going to be really problematic in a second here, folks. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh god. Sorry, I'm picking that up and I'm running for a second. Jesus. Alright. Pick up the other attack speed. That's probably not what I was supposed to do, but I needed something to help speed this up. To help uh, save ourselves at this point. Hopefully that plus what he's doing is enough. Yes, it's enough. We got one kill on the Lone Star. That's en probably enough to send them back home. But we just lost a lot on our drill core. And they didn't really lose much position because we lost our Ray. So, not the best. That's okay. For now, that's, that'll have to do. I'll just take care of whatever's left in here. The good news is you can take out most droids fairly quickly and efficiently just with your auto attack. It's, it's good times. The problem is that Genji is spawning so many flyers. I do not know how he's doing it. Alright, our Froggy is now backdooring, which is great. Uh, it's fine, just as long as he doesn't die. If he dies, we're in deep trouble. We're in deep doo-doo. I'm going to try to see if I can't help him, but there's not much I can do for him since he's on the other side of the map. Now, what's all this doing here? Get out of here. No one likes you. Crunch, crunch, slappity, crunch, crunch, crunch. Good. Good job, mate. Alright. Oh, well, I misjudged where he was going. 
I missed just where he was going too. I missed everything. That really sucked. Point. I got him that time. Man, I'm damn right that I got that. Come on, can we kill him? Not quite, it seems. That's unfortunate. Oh, and the slow bull. The slow bull is gonna be brutal against me. That's one thing that really hurts Swiggins is having slows and stuff. Uh, no matter who you got, it's it's painful. But just especially because he can't dodge them ever. He's just not mobile enough. It's painful. All right, so they just used their shield. The shield is down for the count for now. Where's that Vinny at? Okay. We got some other stuff down here we need to take care of. Oh, we got him! It's not gonna last long enough to make a big difference, unfortunately. Alright, I'm gonna head home. Alright, pick up the last two ranks in that. Now my auto attack is finished. The auto attack does do a fair amount of damage. It's not the best damage in the game, but it's surprising. You're not gonna wanna be on the wrong end of Swiggins' uh, attack. I wonder if he's got lifesteal on his grenades. That would make some sense as to why he's not dying nearly as much as I would hope he would. Um, does he? Uh, no. Mr. TNT, Trinomite, and Incendiary Dynamite. He's just got a lot of HP. A lot more than I ever give him credit for. Okay, so I bothered him. He's stuck up there. Uh, unfortunately, my anchor is probably not going to die for a little bit, so I'm not going to get my anchor back for a decent amount of time, which is problematic, but I still have a blaster, so let's make the best use of it, shall we? There we go, got him back. Now I want to do things. There we go, got him. He's dead, very dead. Unfortunately, Vinny's in our base. Can we head him off? Why, yes, yes we can. Can we force him off before we die horribly? I don't know. I hope so. Eh, nope. Not gonna quite make it as far as I would have liked. Ah, uh, not quite good enough. That's fine. Uh, so close. I keep getting so close to landing all these things. The good news is, is I'm whacking down these things pretty damn quickly. The problem is, now we got droids on our base, and I don't like them there. That's, that's not good. Can I go this way? I right, go ahead and defend Frog. See that he gets what he needs. If they ever get out too far, we can see what we can do about killing them. For now, we're gonna have to rely on the Ray to get rid of the Vinny. Okay, there goes that. I'm trying to deal damage to their base. It's not working out super well. I'm gonna back off. Okay, Frog is in a world of hurt right now, so we're gonna back off as a whole. Fine. That's what we're supposed to do. Now the Vinny's back home though. We're gonna I'm gonna go back home. Pick up the HP on that so that was even harder to get rid of. And see what we can do about getting rid of that Vinny. And he's done. Thank you. So whenever you land your stuff, so long as you continuously land your stuff, you're golden, because it tends to kill people. Oh god damn. The one Problems with Swiggins. He's so tall. It's so hard to do anything effectively. All right, we got him. That's good. Okay, now all you guys are doing that. Oh, there's the last one alive. He's over there. So. Kill these things off. Good. Math is in my favor. All right, now let's go up here. Oh, got him. He's done. He's all spoken for. Ugh, he's not dead, though. Damn it. That's problematic. Okay, now we need to be super careful. Whoa. Now he's dead. I'm about to die for it, though. Ugh, not good enough. Well, it's my first death of the game, so I can't really be sad about it. Alright, so I'm picking up the duration now on the anchor, which is a bit late game, but at this stage in the game, I've got enough HP to actually make use of it. 
So it should be fine. Like, the the anchor, like, at this point in the game, your build's pretty much finished. Once you've got this top row, the Matic Spoon, and your lower row all maxed out, you're, you're doing as much as you can do. The auto attack is, the, the attack that you've got is icing on top of a very delicious cake, and then the rest of it's just nice to have. Even if we lose here, I think you got the point. Oh, we haven't lost yet. It's a trap! Can we... Can we make a comeback? Can we do what we're supposed to do? Or are they gonna make it their comeback? Because technically speaking, we were winning earlier. Kill him. Good. They're dead. Yes! We got the Genji. That is a load of the damage off of my back. I can sit here and defend all day now. Uh, oh, we do have to worry about this guy, though. No, 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 no! Come on! Yes! Woohoo! Super close! Okay, can we defend it against the... Can they defend it against the frog, though? I don't know. So close. Yes! GG, well played! That was close as hell! Victory! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, anyway. That's how I play Swiggins. That's my guide to him. Uh, take from this as you will. He's an initiator. I use him that way. I use him for my team. He works well that way. If you want to use him for ganks, I'll try to put together a different build uh, for that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I know I sure did. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later!